Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the standard manufacturing S333 Thunderstruck. It's a two barrel revolver chambered in 22 Magnum. It has a cylinder that carries eight loads and with each trigger pull, two shots will be fired. Now it's very different. Have you ever seen anything like this? You know, it was released about a year and a half ago. Prior to its release, I've never seen anything like this before. People say they want innovation. This is definitely innovative. It's not for everybody. It's definitely not for everybody, but it was flying off the shelf. Some people just want that newest firearm that's different and unique, and they certainly found it with the S333 Thunderstruck. 22 Magnum, two shots. Now it does have a two finger trigger, an open trigger trigger guard, and internal hammers with transfer bars. All right, so standard manufacturing says this is extremely safe because it does have a trigger bar safety and transfer bars. The grip is, it feels rubber. They call it tactical urethane. The website says polymer. I contacted them, I said, what is it? They said, it's tactical urethane. Whatever that means, it feels like it is rubber. Milled in three dot sights that are red, uh, it's all steel, you know, milled in, you can't move them or anything. About two and a half inch sight radius and a heavy trigger pull. All right. And so it's, it's definitely unique. It's different, but there was a problem and that was accuracy. Now I will say this was never designed to be a distance shooter. It's for up close and personal. Actually, the S333 stands for, well, the S probably standard manufacturing, but okay. self-defense. The average self-defense situation takes place in three seconds from three yards and three shots. That's what standard manufacturing says, and that's where they came up with the name. But because of its lack of accuracy and some tumbling with the bullets, creating keyholes on paper, which I didn't notice because I shot steel, but others have said it was keyholing. They said that the barrels are too short. Actually, they are an inch and a quarter long. So they came out with a new model. All right, we'll show clear here. And the new model has an inch and a half long barrels. And standard manufacturing said that that is the fix for accuracy. Now, once again, even with an inch and a half long barrels, it's not meant for distance but it supposed to it's supposed to create a a more accurate shot a shot with no tumbling that additional quarter inch is supposed to do that and that's what that's what they're claiming there is another difference here and that is you see those serrations on the cylinder they took that out and made a completely unfluted cylinder all right not a big deal but this is the one they're selling now and I believe what is the MSRP is four forty nine, but if that is the 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 fix for the tumbling, and this can be shot at a little bit of a further distance, you know the the three 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 the three yards, okay fine, the the three seconds, okay fine, three shots, I mean two shots, one trigger pull, and there you go. Now the trigger pull on this actually feels a little bit smoother it does require a full reset and it does require two fingers what i found is that you could stack it right there and now you're in single action right there but this actually feels better than this trigger and i contacted them they said that really wasn't changed but that also goes to show you that not all triggers are created equal that's why most people that that measure trigger weights they'll do it five and six times and it will vary from firearm to firearm but this one actually feels a little better i have to say i think i'll be able to stay on target a little better and with the increased uh, accuracy perhaps maybe a little bit more velocity with a quarter inch 22 magnum it will make a difference i'm hoping it does but it remains innovative and different and and, and under 20 ounces let's check that out right now We'll take a look at the weight. Now, I already did this, and I saw a half ounce heavier with this. So that's not bad, all things considered. One pound, three and an eighth ounce. One pound, three and a quarter ounce. So not even a, not even a half ounce, a quarter ounce. 
we'll throw some 22 magnum on here i've got i've got a, a little bit of 22 magnum anyway so we could do a range review one pound four and a half ounces we move that to just ounces its loaded weight is 20 and a half ounces let's see what the with the original with the one and a quarter 20 and a quarter so it's only a quarter ounce heavier and it it feels like it has a nicer trigger you know when i when i do them side by side this one is is really heavy and this one not as heavy it's actually lighter but they said they didn't change it and that's kind of surprising to me but hey it is what it is i'm gonna i'm gonna base it on what what they say you know nobody knows their product better than they do they also call this a volley fire you know you'll see that on the package a volley fire and it's a thunderstruck s333 they also changed where they Put the the uh the name thunderstruck there under the cylinder to the right this time under the cylinder to the left on the newer model but here it is check it out if you're into innovative firearms and you think it would be cool to have two shots per trigger pull with this model you're gonna love it because it is it is pretty cool i have to say i i do enjoy owning it i've had this for about a year and a half I had this for about a week and i can't wait to get to the range and check it out and i'm taking you guys along too to see if that extra quarter inch makes a difference if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate the thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe